Who's up? Fire away. Hey, Coach. Yep. Hey, Coach. This is Rafael from the Three Point Conversion. Um, Two and zero. Oh, now you playing Detroit. What What have you told the team going to this game, knowing that you two and zero? Oh, not to, I guess not to get too high on themselves or whatever, but yet still stay the you know stay the course. Um, our focus is really execution. How we can uh, handle some of the the junk defenses that they're going to throw at us with some zones, some blitz. Um, being organized when we don't have scoring opportunities in transition, um, you know, game plan, discipline of what, what we need to do uh, to be successful against this team. Nothing different. It's a different challenge, different components, different players, and kind of a different game plan against this team and just the discipline to execute that game plan, both offensively and defensively. Thanks. Jamila Johnson. Hey, Coach. Um, who are your starters for tonight? Um, Trey, Cam, DeAndre Hunter, John, and Clint. And I have a follow-up question. What do you like when you put Cam and DeAndre out there on the floor together? What do you like from that pairing? Um, you know, I'm hoping what they'll provide on a consistent basis is, is just two versatile defenders. Um, you know, their size, their length the lateral movement, their, I think their mentality defensively is, is um, the two guys that we're going to rely on the most as our perimeter stoppers, our guys that can cross match and defend uh, multiple positions. So having both of them out there, you know, it's really key, I think, in this year uh, and, and all games, really how you start games uh, with the defensive mindset, how you start games. Uh, being able to establish your defense. I think those two guys really provide us that opportunity against some of the elite players in this league. And, you know, it's still a growing opportunity for both of them, but I like having them on the court together. Thank you. Sarah Spencer. Hey, Lloyd, my audio was breaking up earlier, so I apologize if you answered this already. Um, will Gallo be available? Uh, I'm not sure. He's still testing. He's got to do the same deal in Memphis where he's just going through his workout and um, and make him available if he's ready to go or uh, they'll let me know if he isn't. Um, he was on the court yesterday and testing it out. We didn't do anything live and uh, they were going with the same plan today. Okay. And does Clint have a firm minute restriction? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Thank you. Terrell Thomas. Hey, Coach Pierce. Uh, I know it's only been two games so far, so it's a small sample size. But in your evaluation so far with your team and uh, all the new additions, what have you been most pleased about? Um, I like the group in terms of their connectivity with each other, um, the communication, the engaged focus that they have during meetings, during our game plans. Um, during our script sessions. I think the group is, uh, is really focused right now. I think they're communicating well with each other. To me, that's the most important. You know, what we do is, is not so important. You know, whether, you know, we run play A or play B or play C, I think really the communication so that we're on the same page about what we run uh, is most important. And, and the guys have done, shown a tremendous amount of growth um, for, a, for a new team. Uh, tremendous amount of growth in trying to stay engaged and communicating and staying focused. And uh, I think that's the one thing I've been most pleased with. Thank you, Coach. Chris Kirshner. Do you have an update on, on Yekka's health and where he's at with his rehab? I don't. Um, they were supposed to give that today. Yeah, I, I don't. I know it was supposed to be something done today. I don't know if they've done it this morning or if they're doing it with the doctors here at the arena. Uh, he's, he was doing a pregame workout in the, on the practice court with our guys, but I don't have a, um, in terms of a medical update, no, on any of them. Thanks. Yep. Andy. Hi, Coach. Andy over from Tabe Portes. Uh, 
just wanted to ask you, uh, this season we've already seen a game postponed in large part due to COVID. Uh, I just wanted to know, I mean, there's one thing which are injuries, which you can't control, but what are some of the conversations that both you and your guys have had on this topic, given the circumstances and the challenge that we're all facing, you know, being staying, being staying healthy and being available? You know, the phrase I use is just shared responsibility. Um, you know, we, we all have to play our part in being responsible, not only – with the team, but with our families, um, you know, there's, there's going to be cases, there have been cases, and a lot of it has to do with the contact tracing. And a lot of it has to do with family members. And, you know, I think we have to be smart in the actions that we control and where we're going and what we're doing. But I think it's also uh, being able to communicate the, the importance of that to those that we're in close contact with. Obviously, you know, most of us, all of us should be as limited in our contact as we can and limit, you know, visitors from coming and as tough as it may be, that's the shared responsibility that we have to, to have in order for this season to be successful in order for us to get through, in order for us to just kind of, you know, slow the, slow the, the, the response down a little bit. Um, so I think that's really what we've talked about and understanding, you know, we saw in Houston the game that was postponed um, and how, we, we talked about that as a team and we talked about shared responsibility and the impact that it has if something happens. So it's important. We're learning as we're going along. We're making the necessary adjustments we need to. Uh, travel will always be a challenge. Uh, going to a new city for, for multiple days and trying to figure out what to do, but it, it comes down to shared responsibility. All right. Thank you. Any more questions for Coach Pierce? I think we are clear. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.